Hey again, this is Callum from Sir Mace Chester, and today I am carrying on my taste test of the range of Chacom pipe tobaccos with their third instalment, which is unsurprisingly named Chacom Number no. 3. While the number one and number two have been a traditional and cased aromatic respectively, number three carries on in number two stead with another cased aromatic. However, this time, while the one and two followed quite a similar pattern, at least with the base of the tobaccos, the number three strays off slightly with a base tobacco that is primarily black Cavendish Double fermented black Cavendish for extra smoothness, combined with, shape, combined with red and gold Virginias and just a tiny pinch of Burley. As you can hopefully see, it's quite a short cut uh, mixture, which means it's very, very easy to light and crucially keep lit as well. As I said, it's a case aromatic, so the casing they've used in this case is vanilla bourbon. Not vanilla and bourbon, it's a vanilla bourbon, if that makes a difference to you. And personally, I think it's really, really good. It's definitely much more prominent on the casing than the, uh, than the number two was. You can taste the tobacco in this, but because of the dominance of the black Cavendish in it, it's very creamy, very subtle and you do just get this occasional hint of tobacco in with the casing. But like I say, it's very creamy, occasionally bordering on a little bit chocolatey, but it's not the main flavour here, but it is still pleasant. As far as the casing goes, I mostly get vanilla from it. I've got to admit, I don't get a huge amount of bourbon taste from it. If anything, for me, the bourbon manifests as more of a honey, or more specifically, honeycomb character which combined with that slight chocolatey note that you get from the tobacco, it kind of reminds me of a crunchy bar, which um, I don't know how widespread crunchy bars are. So if you live in a country that doesn't do crunchy bars, uh, first of all, I suggest you move because crunchies are amazing. But it's basically a big chunk of honeycomb dipped in chocolate and it tastes as good as that sounds. So before this turns into a review of crunchy bars, um, i definitely say that's the main thing you get. It's this nice, crisp, honeyed sort of taste with the vanilla just giving it a bit of creaminess and then a slight chocolatey note from the tobacco itself. Uh, with blends like this as well, where the casing's the most forward thing, they do naturally run the risk of being oversweet, sickly, overwhelming, but I really have to say that isn't the case with this one. The, creaminess from both the black cavendish and that vanilla offsets the sweetness nicely and if anything you then get that kind of like crisp uh, sort of sweeter note as well but it never gets too sweet having said all that i would say this is definitely more tobacco for sweet tooths out there if you're more into your natural tobaccos and your savory ones this might not be the one that converts you but if you do like things sweet like i do i definitely recommend giving it a go if you do want to try it, it's available as always at turbos.com. If you do try it, I hope you like it. Don't forget to let us know what you think. And if you like these videos, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more in future. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Mm. That's how well it burns. Look, it's still lit after all that talking. They never normally have.